Come, train if you feel like it. These may be mere illusions, but they hit and kill. Just like the real versions. Are you sure? If you win, we'll reward you handsomely. But it's highly unlikely you'll survive this encounter. Congratulations. Here's the promised reward. But, if I may ask this of you, lend me your ear for a moment. A favour. You can handle yourself, so I figure you won't be afraid to handle something that no sane person would ever agree to do. Somewhere out there, you might encounter a certain knight, a creature of enormous size and even more enormous appetite. I have to ask you for help, to convince this creature to come back here. That's a long story, but he belongs here with me. Here, I can take care of his condition and keep trying to heal him. I could have expected that. Well, I tried everything. Nothing helped. I wish there was something I could do about it. When you see him, you're not looking at a knight cursed by the weirdness. Nothing like that. What you see is a poor child, cursed by the sins of his father. He's the son of a warrior who came to Avalon to serve Arthur's cause. In truth, he came here to serve his own cause, to drown his insatiable bloodlust. War breeds such people. Or perhaps, I should say, war gives them an environment in which they can become their true selves. This man, this horrible man, had a son. He always took him to battle and treated him like a lucky charm. Then, after every victory, the child was spoiled with... with whatever it wanted. At first, it was treats and trinkets. Then the son started to watch his father, and to learn from his father. Soon, there was no innocence left in this child at all. Instead, only gluttony and lust for all things morbid, and nobody dared to disobey. And then, the weirdness came. Its ways, sometimes they are poetic, sometimes quite literal. It mistook the child's need for fatherly attention, for gluttony. Yes, you're probably among the first to ever dismiss his wish. But since even this didn't work, I'm out of options. I have no idea how to convince him to come here, where I can at least keep trying to help him. Thank you. I hope you'll come up with something. The child doesn't deserve this. As you probably guessed by now, I was there. I was employed by his father, and I saw what happened to the poor child. I tried to help. I tried to prevent all these horrible things, but, well, I couldn't. This isn't exactly what I've asked you to do, is it? Do what you want, but talk with me no more. Come, train if you feel like it. These may be mere illusions, but they hit and kill like the real things. Are you sure? If you win, we'll reward you with a proper sword or armor, but it's highly unlikely you'll survive this encounter. <laughs>